So I'm here bright and early, 6 a.m. at the gym. Just weighed in, and I weighed in at set 216. You have to believe me. Which is down eight pounds from the start of this. So, that, and this is week five. So, so that's right where I wanted to be. Um, I did have a little splurge last night, a little cheat meal, uh, which was all pasta. So, I feel good today. It's a new week. So, I'm going to start the week off on a high note. I'm in here for workout number two on the day. Feeling good. This morning, I did 25 minutes of. So the way we broke down was at the first minute, you would do four muscle ups. Second minute, second. At the second minute, you would do six snatches. Then on the third minute, you would do eight burpees, and then you repeat it. So each minute you do one of those three exercises. And I did that for a total of 25 minutes and felt good. <clears throat> Not the best muscle up burr, but uh, they're hard and I like challenging. So they are very difficult, I will say. So much props to everybody, anybody that can do them. Uh, but now I'm in here for a chest workout. Uh, just gonna keep it simple. A couple presses, a couple flies. It's gonna be about it. It's gonna be trying to work the upper portion, lower portion of the pec. All right, for this first exercise, we're gonna do flat, barbell, bench, just like you see on the NFL combines, like you see in the weight room. It's one of the key components, one of the powerlifting moments movements so what I do is I try to tuck my feet under me giving a little arch in my back so that way my scapula is pulled back and I'm able to bring my elbows down by my side a little easier if you just have a flat no arc it's a little harder to keep your elbows tight to your body so try that try a little arc in your back scapula pushing into the bench and bringing your elbows by your side pushing all the way up to really engage this chest. This next bench movement is gonna be a new one for me. Um, but I like the way it looked and the way it sounded um, and the way it feels. So you're gonna be on a decline bench. Don't go heavy. And on a decline bench, you usually bring it down to the low portion of your chest. But this time, on a decline bench, we're gonna extend and we're gonna bring it to the upper portion of our chest to really stretch this full chest and then push the weight all the way up. set the cable mechanism all the way to the top and we're gonna step put your hands like a fist take a step out just far enough that your shoulders are slightly retracted and you're almost going to be like you're bringing your elbows together the straighter you keep your arms the more inner chest you're going to be incorporating in this so we want to keep our arms as straight as possible we're trying to touch our elbows together essentially so that we really work this upper pec along with this medial portion signature chest movement because it really incorporates the full chest 
And if you're really trying to bring up this upper chest, this medial chest, it's a great way to do it. So this is gonna be the submarine chest press. Elbows tight to your body. The key is gonna be bringing the weight all the way down to your chest, really stretch this muscle to make it really work on, on the concentric movement portion. So elbows tight, you're gonna push it all the way up, keeping those elbows tight, and you wanna extend all the way up to really get that full range. Squeeze for a second at the top, bring it all the way down. Let it touch your test, and you're gonna feel it, and your chest is gonna grow. Set. We're going to be doing a burnout or going to failure. Two sets. Uh, the bossy, bossy ball push-ups. So it's going to be a stabilizer. It's going to incorporate a little more abs, but also just burning out the chest all the way. So failure means until you can't do it. no more. Here we go. cooking up something to spice it up a little bit changing it up I'm making healthy Chinese tonight so what I'm doing to make it healthy healthier is instead of using white or brown or any type of rice I'm gonna use cauliflower rice and the reason I use cauliflower rice is because the macros on it are spectacular so as you can tell from just looking at it here Zero fat, five carbs, one gram of protein. And there are 12 servings in it. So you get a lot for a little. So you get a lot of food for very little calories. So that is why cauliflower rice is a great alternative to regular rice. And what I'm gonna just do to it is I'm not gonna go too crazy um, because I still want it to be pretty low calorie is I'm going to add some egg to it, some sesame oil, some reduced sodium soy sauce, and onion. And that is it. Um, I will show you what it looks like after, but I am trying to eat healthy, eat good, but also trying to lose weight. So this is a great alternative when you're fiending for some Chinese food is switch up the rice to cauliflower rice. That is the stir fry. Easy, simple, Pretty low carb. Uh, the fats are moderate um, because I added the two eggs, that's 10, plus the sesame oil, which is 14. So that's 24 in the whole thing. I won't be eating the whole thing. Katie and I will be eating it together. But if you didn't want to use a full serving of oil, you can go half serving. If you didn't want to use two whole eggs, you can use egg whites. Um, to add some extra flavor uh, and to cut down on calories. And we will be having chicken tonight. Uh, I am using the Instapot, uh, very simple. Um, there's not much that went into it. It's gonna be pretty plain, but chicken stock. Um, I really didn't know anything about this, but the macros per one cup, zero fat, zero carb, two protein, 10 calories. And this is going to add a good amount of flavor, especially when cooking in the Instapot or baking your chicken, um, just to give it 
um, a little better taste. So I highly recommend. You're not going to be sacrificing any calories by adding it. And that is dinner. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you gave it a try. If you gave it a try, take a picture, tag me in it. If you gave it a try, comment down below. Let me know how it turns out. What you added, what you didn't add, what you could add. Uh, let me know down in the comment section.